All right, so dynamics <clears throat> is one of the uh, you know topics in engineering mechanics. Engineering mechanics, we're looking at forces. Dynamics is when we're looking at forces that cause motion of these particles and rigid bodies. So if you look at the um, syllabus, if you look at this class, it really breaks up into four distinct sections. Particle kinematics, then particle kinetics, then rigid body kinematics, and rigid body kinetics. So let's just define those. Uh, particles, right, the first half of the semester we'll look at particles, second half of the semester we'll look at rigid bodies. Particles are easier. Particles are just points. Or we're going to assume that they are points. We can assume that all forces act at a point, act through the middle. Uh, so if we have a really large box, we don't really care that this, the force is up on the upper top left hand corner of the box, this force is at the bottom of the box, at the top of the box. We're, we're just gonna assume that all the forces kind of act through the middle or through the centroid or center of gravity of the box. Um, <clears throat> that simplifies things as opposed to the second half of the class where we will look at rigid bodies and, and rigid bodies are, are more like objects like a big box, a car. We are concerned with how, how tall is that? Where is this force acting? Because if the forces are not acting through the middle of the um, object, then that can lead to what? You know this from statics, it can lead to moments. Uh, and moments lead to rotation. All right, and so it, it kind of complicates things. Everything we've done with particles, we're going to still do those, and now we're going to add moments and rotation. Um, and so that's why we'll start with particles, then we'll move on to rigid bodies. So now look at this, kinematics, then kinetics. Kinematics, then kinetics. What is kinematics? What is kinetics? Well, kinematics is... Here are the definitions here, right? Kinematics is a study of motion without regard to the forces, all right? So we are just kind of given uh, the motion. We are told, hey, this has a velocity of 2t squared. Where, where did that come from? You know, we're just kind of given equations for, hey, this is the acceleration. It has a constant acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. Where did that come from? Well, it probably came from forces, probably came from things, um, but kinematics, we're just going to take the motion that we are given, and then we might be taking a derivative or an integral, or maybe using constant acceleration equations, but anyway, we're going to just take that, uh, take the motion that we're given, and we'll run with it, right? Then we'll calculate the distance travel, the time it takes, things like that. Whereas kinetics, we are probably going to be given the forces, right, so kin kinetics is the study of the relation between unbalanced forces and the resulting changes in motion. So we're, we're kind of going to be given the forces, and then we'll have to calculate the acceleration, and then we'll do everything we've been doing with kinematics, all those derivatives and integrals and equations, we're still going to do that, uh, but we're going to have to now kind of think about the forces that cause the acceleration, the the you know change in um, velocities, uh, and so with kinetics we're going to be drawing free body diagrams. Uh, we're going to be summing the forces equals mass times acceleration, and then we might take that acceleration and do everything that we had been doing. Whereas kinematics we're, we're kind of uh, we we will be kind of told the acceleration or velocity or something, and then we'll have to find those, all right? So you see how progressively it's going to get harder, hard, <coughs> harder and harder. Uh, this right here, uh, test one, will be just on particle kinematics. Test two, this really divides this, this course really well into four sections. Test two will be particle kinetics. Test three will be rigid body kinematics. And the final exam will be rigid body kinetics and everything. It will be comprehensive, so it'll have some new rigid body kinetics, but also it'll have everything from one, two, three. All of this builds on each other. You know, everything we're doing in this section three, we're kind of adding to what we had been doing in section one. Everything in section two, we're adding to this. So all of this builds on each other. And they're not four separate sections, but it really does break up this class really well um, into the uh, four topics. All right.